Welcome to MJ Hobby Corner. This is a very special segment of our bi-weekly chat. Yes. Uh, we are here to introduce Yoda. Yes. The studio manager. <laughs> yes. Yoda does like to hang out from time to time in the studio. Yes. Uh, right now he's he's in uh, his mom's arms here. <laughs> uh, but he's happy too, I think. He's smiling. Yeah. yeah he he does. likes attention. He does. He does. So he is our channel mascot you admiral will see yoda you will see more of admiral yoda in the future <laughs> uh he's kind of hanging out with us yeah all right so uh first things first thank you uh new subscribers mm -hmm. welcome sure. to the channel uh for those of you that don't know uh this chat is designed to update the channel show you uh projects that maybe i started a week ago whatever mm -hmm. it is we also talk about games uh, any kind of uh, gaming news that might be important mm -hmm. that will uh, that we decide to participate mm -hmm. in any new games or Kickstarters or anything like that, uh, we will update it mm -hmm. here in this talk and share it with you guys. So this yeah. is sort anything of, that's going on. Anything that's we going just try on to in give the studio. A whole, you know, a whole synopsis of what's yeah exactly what's exactly. Mm -hmm. So first and foremost, let's give a shout out to a couple of friends of the channel. Mm -hmm. um, for sure, for sure. First and foremost, Dicey Guy. Hey, Dicey Guy, how you doing? <laughs> um, Dicey Guy, he's a, a very cool guy. Mm -hmm. He has his own yes, YouTube is. channel. Mm -hmm. uh, so if any of you who haven't heard of Dicey Guy, go check him out. Uh, he Please. does commission painting as mm -hmm. well, from what I see. Mm -hmm. And he has a lot of interesting stuff. A he lot, does. A lot of cool videos. Yeah, um, yeah. I like the video that I saw with you. Yeah. yeah. He's a good guy. And, and definitely a, a passionate war gamer mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And he does a lot of stuff with Vanguard and Mantic Games, you know, mm -hmm. uh, which we also like here mm -hmm. very much. So mm -hmm. go check him out if you haven't checked him out. Uh, I'll have a link in the description if you guys mm -hmm. want to check him out. Absolutely. And our, our another friend, Axe Ain't Axe. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Uh, just a little shout out to him. I've been visiting his live chats whenever I can. I'm, I'm not always able to. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I do. Yeah, and, and Julie's yeah. with me and we both kind of uh, bother him a little bit on the <laughs> chat. Uh, but basically his Mech Mondays, he mm -hmm. does his Mech Monday shows. And then he has Tankery Thursday, which I'm very interested I in. I know. Yeah, I remember. You, the last one yeah. was what? Uh, 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 the British Tank. He showed a... He basically just hangs out with, with the community and mm -hmm. he's doing his tank. That's what I uh, like about his lives now. Yeah. He's just hanging out doing his thing and talking to people. Sure. Who, yeah, yeah, it's it, great. It's what it's all about. Yeah, know? for sure. And he had a Cromwell tank, which I really like. And so uh, just a lot of cool stuff. Mm -hmm. So check him out if you have. If you mm -hmm. don't know of him, check him out. I'll, I'll have a link in the description. He's a talented guy. Yeah. yeah, he really is. And he mm -hmm. does some really good painting, mm -hmm. too. Um it's all about the community really i my ambition is. for mj hobby corner mm -hmm. you know uh, the way i like it is to be involved with the community i mean mm -hmm. we're a community of war gamers we're, yeah we're a community of geeks you know <laughs> we love the models we love painting uh, uh -huh. there's a lot of passionate people out there doing mm -hmm. some really cool stuff on their end and everybody has their own way of enjoying the hobby mm -hmm. you know but it's all, that's what it's about though, enjoying the hobby. Yes. For me, enjoying the hobby is the community. That's, mm -hmm. you know, this is, this is great for, to me. Right. This is what right. I like about it. Right, and seeing what everybody else is up to yeah. and how, and their yeah. battle reports exactly. and seeing how they're enjoying the games, yep. you know, that's all. Or showing them something that they might enjoy too. That's right. fun too, you know? Right. Yeah. Uh, and if any of you guys you like our videos, if you like our, our my projects and then things that I'm going to be introducing mm -hmm. into the channel, there's a lot of new things, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe, subscribe, comment, you mm -hmm. know, I, I do want to know more about my subscribers in time. We do. What yeah. you guys like Absolutely. in terms of your games, the terrain, et cetera, et cetera. So. And, and they shouldn't forget <clears throat> to um, turn the bell on so that they know when... Right. new things upload well i do so. i do upload a, a lot mm -hmm. and and that for some people might not be because your bell will be going on quite yeah. a bit <laughs> well, but we do upload a lot at the know. time right know, but so. yes of course that's an option yeah um all right and so uh 
that can lead the topics. Oh, there was one more um, person that you wanted to introduce. Our silent partner. Our silent partner, yeah. Correct, yes. Uh, I am happy. Well, and I think I've said this before, but we do have a silent partner. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep him anonymous because that's the right. way he prefers. We <laughs> respect that. Uh, this person is helping us with the budget, with mm -hmm. the studio budget. Mm -hmm. This person is going to make it possible so that we got some new equipment mm -hmm. for the exactly. studio, mm -hmm. for filming, uh, new equipment for painting, mm -hmm. which is going to help our videos right. a lot. A lot, yeah. And uh, so I'm very grateful to this person. We have a mm -hmm. certain budget with mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. We've agreed that's the sort of the max. Mm -hmm. And so I'm working with that budget very carefully uh, for models, for uh, reviews mm -hmm. and unboxings mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. So we are so grateful, so grateful. to yeah. this person. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's really going to help our channel a lot. For okay? sure. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. That, yeah, absolutely. So we wanted to say that, kind of put that out mm -hmm. there. And uh, this will definitely bring some cool stuff to the channel. Okay, so next up then is the Oathmark review. Oathmark! That was so much fun. What a game. And then our, <laughs> the review after our new gaming commentator, Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crazy fun. guy, crazy guy. Oh my God, he, he he's made so us laugh fun. so much. Yeah. Uh, and we're adding that as a segment. The, sure. The, um, Aftermath. The Aftermath. With Steve. Commentary with Steve. Yeah. So Steve is, is going to be helping us with other things like building Titanicus mm -hmm. models mm -hmm. and helping mm -hmm. around the studio and hopefully even playing some games. He'll mm -hmm. be a new face, a new yeah. match for yeah. Julie. Yep, yeah. we'll announce that a little bit later in the, vid in the video or in this chat, I mean. Right. Yeah. So we'll, uh, we'll, hopefully. We'll talk more about that. But. Yeah. So, you know, it's a great thing. Yeah. Um, He's a new addition. To our team, he brings a little comic relief, <laughs> for sure, right? Funny guy, funny guy. <laughs> but the, um, the old mark review now, we don't know what the um, other the other people who are in the event. We don't know their scores yet. So right, I have to wait until uh, we are playing mm -hmm. all of these old mark games throughout April is a test run for an online campaign in June, which mm -hmm. we will be a part of. Mm -hmm. But um, this is a test run. Mm -hmm. And so we still have to wait for our other team members, right? Uh, everyone else to kind of post their results and whatever mm -hmm. it, at their discretion. And as soon as I know what the results are, then mm -hmm. we'll either do a five minute update here on the channel or whatever and mm -hmm. let you guys know, yeah. or even in the next Oathmark game. Right, probably a five minute update. Yeah, yeah if we can, if we can do it. For, mm -hmm. Yeah, for uh, a little update. Because we want to know where our scores fit mm -hmm. into the grand scheme of things. Because after last time, um, even though you won our battle, my side was, was winning. Ahead. Mm -hmm. Her mm -hmm. side is ahead by one game, but in terms of kill points, her side is ahead. Uh, they had something like 3,000, over 3,000 kill points. Mm -hmm. My side only had like a thousand something kill points, mm -hmm. so they were well ahead in kill points. We'll see. We don't know mm -hmm. what all what, the games yeah, have, have, have totaled happened. yet, uh -huh. so we don't know. So you never know. You really, right. not, you know. So we will be reporting that mm -hmm. as soon as we know. Yes. Okay. Because that's exciting. That is fun. Yeah, it, it makes really the Oldmark games a lot of fun. It really is. If you guys are interested, I will have the Facebook. Uh, link in the description the way I'm doing it uh, for the Oathmark games. Check the Oathmark game. There is a link there for the Facebook page. Oh, for Check us, out the their event. Facebook okay. page. Cool. And in the future, uh, for you sure. know, they're all about having fun. And that's what we're about, too. It's about playing the game, having fun, working mm -hmm. with whatever terrain you have. Mm -hmm. They're not putting any kinds of restrictions or Mm -hmm. You know, basically, they do want you to report whatever happens in the game, obviously. Well, you have to because... You have to, yeah. yeah. But other than that, they just want you to have fun mm -hmm. and play a game that we like mm -hmm. as part of a community. Mm -hmm. So, And I feel like we're promoting the game a little bit, too, which right. is good because we love the game. So Yeah, Old Smart is yeah. a great game. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing in Joseph McCullough's uh, collection of rules has really disappointed me. I like all his games. Every know. one of them. So I've, Well, I've said it 
here mm -hmm. many times. I am a big fan. Big and that's where she learned, uh, you know. It is. I Actually, it is. Yeah. I learned on Frostgrave. It, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I had played the like drop one zone. drop zone, and I had played that War one. War Machine. Oh, yes, War Machine. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have some board games on the channel as well. <laughs> We're planning to have some Descent. Mm -hmm, for sure. Coming this summer, mm -hmm. I really want to play that game, and it will be a couple of sessions of Magic the Gathering board game. It's just a little board game with miniatures, mm, but it's so fun. It's not your typical board no. game, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a well, lot for me, it was the it was the um, what do they call that? The, the gateway. The gateway. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was the gateway game for me. Right. Right. And after that, then I wanted to expand Do more it. complex things. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. So then, um, Stargrave news. Stargrave, Stargrave's really big. Stargrave is, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very happy to see the response in the community. The community is very excited about Stargrave. We are very excited about Stargrave. We are, yes. Absolutely. I already pre-ordered the rule book. We we're just waiting for it to <laughs> activate on I wonder, my I wonder if that surprises anyone that you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one big news. Now, I, I have a... Check the description. I have another link to an article. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's somebody's blog post. But uh, they talk about um, the enemies in Stargrave. They mm -hmm. have a sort of a sneak peek mm -hmm. into, and they have some charts and stuff that they uh, made. It's a very interesting article. I would suggest that you go and check it out. I'm going to have the link here uh, mm -hmm. in our um, video. So you guys can check it out. I already asked this person for permission mm -hmm. to post a link. So go check it out. It's very interesting mm -hmm. and gives us yet another sneak peek at Stargrave. Mm -hmm. The other thing is Nick Starter. Nick Starter is something that I've nice. been seeing on the Facebook group for Stargrave. And it likes the Kickstarter, oh. right? Like mm -hmm. Kickstarter. Uh, but they have several of the new North Star military miniatures. Mm -hmm. Uh, um, that are coming out for Stargrave, mm -hmm. and you can pre-order them. We are thinking of supporting this mm -hmm. next starter. More than thinking, we, we, I, I we think will it's more pretty than much, likely do it. Yeah, we just well, have to figure out what we're checking our budget. We're checking mm -hmm. also how how it's going to work out. But I will have a link to the next starter, and as soon as we have. More information where we're getting the models. Mm -hmm. uh, we will review them here. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I do suggest that you go check it out. They have a ton of stuff mm -hmm. for Stargrave. Mm -hmm. One of the things that uh, hobbyists are really excited about is the conversions. Right. I, yeah. You know, and I showed you this. Mm -hmm. Space knolls. People are taking Frostgrave knolls and adding <laughs> Stargrave bits. Space knolls. How it's freaking great. cool. It's awesome. It is awesome. Yeah. Uh, people are using uh, the bodies for the Frostgrave uh, wizards uh -huh. and coming up with like Jedi like characters. It's so cool. W and women. They have women Jedi. Yes. Well, they, well, have, they have women warriors. Right. And, right. Uh, North Star military miniatures. Uh, has announced that they are doing a female kit. Uh, I love the way they portray females too. It's mm -hmm. not like the really uh, curvy females with like the right uh, no. the boob armor or whatever. Exactly. These are more realistic looking females. They're just badass biatches. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, but yes, Julie has described it perfectly. Uh, yeah, so uh, really excited about what North Star mm -hmm. is going to be bringing to For Stargrave. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what we can get our hands on here in the channel. Hopefully through Nick Starter, I would like to support that. Mm -hmm. and, and then we can have a preview of it. We will announce more mm -hmm. as we know more. Yep. And, you know, keep their eyes open, right? Because mm -hmm. you never know. When is it? it it's, it's like April 11th now. When are they? Uh, well, the 29th of April is when I'm scheduled to receive okay. my copy of Stargrave through my Kindle. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, no, that gives me an idea. Sure. Um, okay. So we're doing a Dragon Rampant game next week. Yes. Uh, Dragon but it's going to be a little different this time. Yeah. Yeah. Because, because it's going to be not you. 
Right. Uh, we are hoping that Steve will join us next week. Mm -hmm. And Steve and Julie will have be having a match of Dragon Rampant. Steve will be learning the game. Mm -hmm. And we thought that this was a good game to start because mm -hmm. it, it's not very complex. Mm -hmm. It's a game that's easy to learn. And uh, we can have, it looks like Admiral Yoda. He's getting unhappy. He's getting a little unhappy. unhappy. We're going to take care of him first. We'll be right uh, back. Admiral Yoda in the house. Bad. Happy. Happy. He's good. He's good. So Dragon Rampant, we were talking about um, the game this coming week. We're going to do a game and hopefully uh, Steve will join us and I'll have a new opponent. Right. Yeah. We're pretty excited about this. Yeah. It'll bring a new face to mm -hmm. our battle reports mm -hmm. and uh, certainly I know Steve will have a, a kick with the games. So For it, sure. Yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll be interesting. And then I can focus on filming because... Mm -hmm. One of the problems is I'm filming a game as I'm playing the game. Right. And, and it does make it It's more very difficult. distracting. Absolutely. So it's going to be cool to kind of concentrate on just one thing while these two play. Mm hmm So. Yeah, that'll be fun. Mm hmm And it'll be good for me, too, to, have to be playing against someone who will use a different strategy. Absolutely. So that'll be fun for sure. me. It'll yeah. make it interesting for our viewers, I think, too. Cert well, anything Steve's in makes it interesting for our viewers, I think. Uh, adds, adds a little laugh here, to, uh, here or there, yeah. at, at the very least. Um, okay, so Rangers of Shadow Deep. Let's move on to that, then. We played that this week. We played Rangers of Shadow Deep. If you haven't seen that, uh, check it out. I'll mm -hmm. have a, a link in the description. Quite a few links in this description. So. Uh, but check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, it was fun. It was my second time playing Rangers. Mm -hmm. So we do apologize for any rules mistakes, mm -hmm. but for sure. we're learning still. Mm -hmm. It's very much like Frostgrave, though. If yeah, that's it. And it made it easier. For, yeah. Yeah. Once, once we got through the phases and I remembered how it worked, then it was. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're just a few different rules mm -hmm. uh, for the mm -hmm. theme, but it's such a fun game. It's, it's fun and it's, um, I don't want to say simple because that meat. That might be right. a, a pejorative, but right. um, it's it's easy to understand. It's yes. easy to follow. Yes, um, and it's fun. And you can play it solo, which mm -hmm. is a great thing these days. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I know Rangers got a lot of popularity with all the lockdowns and everything else. Well, yeah, of there course. Was nowhere sure. for people to go. Mm -hmm. Pull out your figures and start playing some Rangers mm -hmm. or Shadow Deep. And even great. now, I mean, we're not as restricted as we were a year right. ago, but. We still, all of us, well, most of us still have restrictions. Right. So. Are having yeah. more games of Rangers coming. That is mm -hmm. definitely on our list. And I will be playing it because I love it. It yeah. was really fun. It'll be cool to play co-op. It definitely. was, it was yeah. cool to play co-op. Definitely. All right. So sculptures. All right. Well, I have a sculpture to show this week. I announced that sculpture. I think it was a week ago. Maybe a little more. A little more, I think. A little think. more. Uh, it's a Hydra that I started sculpting mm -hmm. for our games. And I want to show that right now to show you guys mm -hmm. where the progress is. Okay, so this is a very important part of my channel. And it's, of course, sculpting. Mm -hmm. And this is as far as I got with the Hydra. Now, there is a video on my uh, Green Stuff playlist that shows the armature that I use. Okay. But this is as far as I got. Um, there's still some work to be done. Uh, a lot of the spines here. Um, it's so cool, though. You like it? Oh, my goodness. I okay. love it. Um, I still have to do the claws on the rear legs. Mm -hmm. And he has a very dinosaur-like body. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Okay, and then he has all the necks and, and, and heads. Uh -huh. I have to sculpture the heads right. this week. Yeah, I can't wait to see that. Yeah, and then, of course, this model gets painted like any other model. Mm-hmm. And we can use it in our games. Yes. Okay, it's a good size. Mm -hmm. So it's not huge, but it's not small. Right. It's a good size. It's a good size for that, for that kind of creature. Yes, Especially, exactly. Yeah. And now that I have a new idea for an upcoming game series uh, late in the summer, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be doing underground battles. Right, yes. Uh, this Hydro would be perfect for that yes. kind of stuff. Definitely. So there it is, guys. That's a, uh, You will see more and more sculptures in the future. I mm -hmm. have a lot of projects planned. And I hope to this, have this guy finished uh, very soon and get him painted. Yep. Can't wait.
All right. There we go. So um, you mentioned the underground battles when you were showing the Hydra mm -hmm. when, we, when we looked at that. So tell us about well, that. What I'm planning for late summer is a series of games that take place in an underground, like a cavern environment. Mm -hmm. Think Dungeons and Dragons Underdark. In fact, I will be using uh, the novels from mm -hmm. R.A. Salvatore, one right. of my favorite okay. fantasy writers. Mm -hmm. He describes in his novels of Drizzt, the famous dark elf, mm -hmm. he describes the Underdark perfectly and, and, and a lot of the battles that take place in the mm -hmm. Underdark. That's the kind of thing I'm shooting for. That's great. That would be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's different. Now, I don't have, a, you know, it's not going to be like tremendously large, a lot of miniatures or mm -hmm. anything like that. We want to use the Dragon Rampant rules. I think the Dragon Rampant rules and convert them in such a way, maybe I'll call them Cavern Rampant. <laughs> right? And uh, just... Uh, Kind of add to the rules a little bit mm -hmm. and and whatever to accommodate a an underground environment mm -hmm. and play some fun. skirmish games mm -hmm. and some larger games mm -hmm. think tunnel fighting you know mm -hmm. teleportation of units oh, here I and love there that. I love that right part. and it'll be uh we have our big gaming table mm -hmm. here uh and i'm thinking about using like the old school method of the sheets that I always do, you guys mm -hmm. always see me use the felt and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. And then create some really cool underground cavern terrain. And idea. sculptures, because this would also come mm -hmm. with a few sculptures that I will design specifically for underground. Right. So, it's an idea. I will be asking for community opinions and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As I get closer to that project, I will give more information. Mm -hmm. I will announce it. And it will be very similar to my deep sea project, the way I handled that. Mm -hmm. Phase one will be the sculptures. I will create several figures. Mm -hmm. And phase two is going to be all the terrain. Right. right. And then we'll play it and we'll play it as a narrative game mm -hmm. and create some interesting Underdark. Now, I don't want yeah. to call it Underdark because that's Dungeons and Dragons. Right. But I will be drawing inspiration from Dungeons and Dragons. Right. We, what are you going to call it then? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I know it's going to have Dark Elves. It's going to have uh, dwarves, maybe some uh, some of those bad dwarves, mm -hmm. those abyssal dwarves that you see in Manta. We'll think of something. <laughs> People have any ideas, throw us some ideas Please, and we'll yes. see. And if we mm -hmm. like something, we'll give you guys credit, you know. And yeah, this is absolutely. such a such a idea. We like that and we'll yeah. name it that. And it'll be a short a short campaign. And if we like the way it goes, maybe we'll do it as a regular thing here mm -hmm. and there, you mm -hmm. know, as a games to bring something different. Yeah, for sure. And I love the idea of our viewers, you know. Right. Deciding what absolutely. they, yeah, I think that's great. Yeah, so we we always want feedback. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Okay, so um, what are you using for Stargrave? You have assembled minis that you. Yes, let's show a little bit of the uh, miniatures that I will be using for Stargrave. Okay, so uh, I have a couple here. Let's check them out. All right, and uh, so I have a couple. This is a miniature from Mantic Games. This is from Warpath. I really like that. Right? He's a cool trooper. Yeah. Um, yes. And here I'll, I'll show you from this kit here. Mm -hmm. This is the Defender team, and I just didn't put the shield on him. Uh, one of the things is, of course, uh, Mantic... They often mix uh, metallics mm -hmm. with their plastic, so mm -hmm. the shields are metallic. Oh. I don't know if this one has a dog. Yes, it does. Oh, cool. It has a robotic dog. I okay. love it. Yep. I'm so excited about Stargrave. Yep. Okay, so that was Stargrave. Excited about that. Yep, very, very and that's another little thing about what we're doing for Stargrave. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, of course, we do want to get some of the uh, North Star military miniatures mm -hmm. and review them here as well. Right, so we'll right. have a so whole combo. Look for that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. On the paint bench, what's going on? Well, finished my Basilean uh, cavalry. Mm -hmm. Here are some of them. 
Uh, I think they came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I am working on the bases now. Mm -hmm. And of course, the priority now, there's going to be a lot of painting. Uh, so I am going to limit the number of construction projects mm -hmm. for right now until mm -hmm. I get a good number of models painted. Um, is the sci-fi figures mm -hmm. for Stargrave. Right. So, Definitely. A couple of few figures, including this figure of Typhus, the Plague Marine. Gonna use them as an enemy somehow. Mm, okay, and you'll be working on Titanicus, right? Yes, Titanicus. Uh, we were saying Titanicus was probably gonna be a part of a 40k thing that we're gonna mm -hmm. do in the summer, so it's still a little while away. Right. So we have plenty of time to assemble the models, paint them, mm -hmm. and we want to do something uh, where we play different games related to 40k, mm -hmm. but it's not gonna be 40k itself of your that suggested something to you or you were going to do something because oh our friend a friend of the channel yes. recon review shout out to recon review how you doing <laughs> uh, recon review is a friend of, mm -hmm. of our channel and mm -hmm. he comes in and and gives us a lot of uh advice cool or, advice yeah, and opinions or and ideas things or, ideas yeah. and he's he's a friend of the channel mm -hmm. and uh he had uh, suggested he liked my foam vehicles, the 40K right, ones. Right, right, yeah. That um, we should do something, some kind of game with just those foam 40K vehicles. Mm -hmm. And they would be a small scale. So if you haven't seen my 40K vehicles, uh, they're on the playlists. Uh, they're all made from recycled foam. And some of them mm -hmm. have moving parts and things like that. They're awesome. <laughs> So, really? if I can come up with some of the other factions, the enemy factions, then maybe do a little oh, 40k beautiful. clash. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, Foam so we're going to work on that. Yeah, in the future. Yeah. And Recon Review also such suggested something. Uh, I made a sculpture of a Mosasaur with, an un with a, a, a lizard on top, mm -hmm. right? It was a Mage Knight figure that I had for many years. And I decided to sculpture the Mosasaur. Mm -hmm. He really liked the sculpture, but he uh, he was thinking the same thing I was thinking. I was not happy with the figure standing up. The, uh, the, the lizard man was standing on the, the Mosasaur, mm -hmm. and I did that because of time and all this mm -hmm. stuff. And I took his advice, and I decided this week, and I cut the figure apart. Here it is. I cut the legs, wow. re-sculpted the legs of the, the, of the reptile. <laughs> Uh, so what you see there is actually green stuff. I had to redo the mm -hmm. joints, everything, wow. and made that lizard man sitting down. <laughs> I think it looks a lot better. Well, I hope you like it, Recon Review. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Recon Review. No, I'm kidding. No, it was a good piece of advice, I think, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure that other viewers would probably agree. Mm -hmm. And I that agree totally. Great. That's awesome. I didn't want to do it because I was afraid of the Mage Knight plastic. It wasn't very good plastic. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it crumbles when you try to like, I don't know, in some cases it just breaks apart. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be more work than I was willing to commit to it. And he was like, cut those legs. <laughs> okay. That's what I did. And it actually gave me a lot of cool practice on sculpting because I had to redo all those joints. Mm -hmm. There it is. I hope you like it. Thanks a lot. And it's funny. We now have a new figure for Deep Wars. We're on the next week now. Five Parsecs game, right? Yep. Well, now, uh, thank you for coming on board, folks. Next week, my update for next week, I'm going to work on some Stargrave terrain. Mm -hmm. I don't know yet what it is. You guys will have to see during the week. Come on over. Check it out during the week. See what kind of video I have up. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm thinking about Stargrave objective markers because we're going to need that. And then maybe a Stargrave project, maybe some kind of vehicle. It'll be a junk build, an MJ junk build. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one on the channel in a while. Those are good. Yeah, so really we're going to yeah. take a bunch of junk, put it together, and make some kind of Stargrave thing. Sounds good to me. A vehicle of some sort. Awesome. So that's one or two videos dedicated to that. Um, and then... Next week, we have Oathmark on Friday, Thursday mm -hmm. or Friday. Mm -hmm. Not sure yet, right? What right, else one of them, yeah. Oh, we got to check with the event people as well. With yeah, the it'll event. be one of those days. Uh, what? I, I think they have set every Thursday. 
uh, depending on our schedule, we'll do it either Thursday or Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because okay. they want the results on Friday. They want the results. By Friday, yeah. so that gives us time. Yeah, whatever we can. Mm -hmm. uh, again, they're very lenient. They, they're not putting restrictions no. on people. They just want us to have fun. Mm -hmm. So, Oathmark next Friday. Oathmark, and then um, we're doing Dragon Rampant. Uh, yes. Hopefully. One of those days. Um, then that's going to cover what we would normally do, the random... The random roll. Yeah. yeah. At the end of our chat, we do a random roll to see what game Julie and I are going to play. Next week, I think we're doing the thing with Steve. Right. And I would ask, but I really think Dragon Rampant is the one that we should play, so... Yeah. We'll just have to do it next time. Yep. Yep. Uh, there's always a five-minute video. Do a roll. See what game we play. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to try and sneak in a five-parsecs because mm -hmm. I'm edging to play some five-parsecs. And I do have some new uh, books from this author. I really mm -hmm. like um, Ivan Sorensen and his work. Uh, he is yes. the author of Five Parsecs. He has a bunch of really cool games, and he has a fantasy version of, of his games using the similar rules to Five Parsecs. Mm -hmm. He has a fantasy version that is a solo player, mm -hmm. and I bought a bunch of books of that fantasy version, and I'm going to be exploring that. So I think in the future, I'm going to be rearranging our gaming schedule. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, Julie and I will figure out the schedule, and of course, now Steve, uh, he, he's not going to have a lot of time. Right. Right. Well, he whatever, has, he, yeah, but whatever, whatever he, time he decides he do, to come in, it's fine, yeah. and we'll welcome yes. his presence Definitely. for the games. Because I think he, he's going to add a lot of humor to the channel, right? And it's going to have a lot that's of fun. fun. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah. that's why, why, why we do it. All Very right. Fun. Okay, so, but you're also going to finish the Hydra. Yes, the, the sculpture has to be finished this week, and I'm going to provide some kind of five-minute update uh, with the mm -hmm. sculpture ready to paint and etc. So uh, definitely that has to finish this week. That is it, guys. There was a lot of information flow this week. We try to keep them short if we can, but there was a lot of info. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of updates coming. Uh, if we do the next starter or when we do the next starter. Right. Uh, we will update you guys mm -hmm. and uh, definitely check out uh, what they have on their pages mm -hmm. for Stargrave. Mm -hmm. uh, check out that blog post. It was a very interesting article on the enemies of uh, that will be used in Stargrave. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting sneak peek. So very cool. And many thanks to them to, uh, f for giving us permission. The author of that blog and everything else for giving us permission to actually post it mm -hmm. on our videos. So sounds good. All right, have a great week, guys, mm -hmm. and I hope that it'll be a week of some very interesting uh, vids coming up on the channel. Mm -hmm. Please like and subscribe. Absolutely. And um, keep your eyes open. Yes, it is time to go check Admiral Yoda. And what he's doing. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Take care.